In this video, I'm going to be using hands-on equations to teach the problem the opposite of 3x plus 2 equals the opposite of 10 plus x. So the first thing I need to do is set up the problem. And um, I have black pawns that are going to represent x, or, or variable x, our unknown value. And then I have white pawns that are going to represent the opposite of x. It's really important to understand this is not positive negative, that this is just x, and this is the opposite of x. So if I have this number here and it equals 4, then this would equal negative 4, which is the opposite of 4. If I have this equal negative 3, then this would equal positive 3. So it just depends upon problem by problem of what they equal, but here's our, here's our x and here's our opposite of x. So I'm first going to set the problem up. I have the opposite of 3x. So that means I have three white pawns on this side of the scale. And then I have plus a positive 2. So my positive 2 is going to be represented by a red 2. On the other side of the scale, I have a negative 10, or the opposite of 10, which is right there. So the greens are going to be negative. And then I have plus x. So here's my problem. And the first thing to realize is I have certain legal moves that I can do. And um, those legal moves consist of the fact that I can take away the same thing from both sides. So if I had a, a black pawn and a black pawn, I could remove those. If I had a white and a white, I could remove those. Red, red, green, green, so on and so forth. The issue with this problem is there's nothing that I can remove from both sides. So my second major legal move is that I can add the same thing to both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add... a green 2 to both sides. And the reason I want to do that is because I want to keep the, first of all, keep the scale equal. So I'm going to add the same thing to both sides. So in this case, I'm adding a negative 2 to both sides. And once I do that, I create right here a pair of 0. And I can take that pair of 0 and I can remove it. So that's another legal move. If there's ever a pair of 0, you can legally remove it from any side of the scale. And that includes um, values or variables. Okay, so now I'm left with the opposite of 3x, or, um, yep, the opposite of 3x equals negative uh, 12 plus x. Okay, now my next um, thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to eliminate, if I can, um, this black pawn right here. And the way I can do that is, is go back to my legal move of adding the same thing to both sides. So I'm going to take a white pawn and add one to both sides. The moment that I do that, I've now, if we notice here, created a pair of zero right here. So I can take that pair of zero and I can remove it. And I'm left with the opposite of 4x equals negative 12. So what I need to ask myself is what plus what plus what plus what is going to give me negative 12? Or when I just said I, I did a repeated addition, that would be multiplication. Um, or I can think about it backwards and divide. So I could take negative 12 divided by 4, and I'm going to get negative 3. So I have negative 3, negative 6, negative 9, negative 12, which equals negative 12. So each one of the white pawns equals negative 3, and that means that each black pawn, or x, equals positive 3. So that's my solution to that problem. Now, the cool thing about hands-on equations is I can always check my answer. So I'm going to take a couple seconds here and um, set it back up the way it was. And that just takes a little bit of time, but it's worth it. So I'm going to have uh, the opposite of 3x plus 2. So I'm going to bring out my red 2 again. Uh, equals the opposite of 10 plus x. Okay, now I'm going to check this. And we said earlier, these equal negative 3 and these equal positive 3. So I'm going to go through and just add them up and see what happens here. Negative 3, negative 6, negative 9. Negative 9 plus positive 2 equals negative 7. Then over here, I have a negative 10 plus a positive 3, which equals negative 7. So if I check it, negative 7 equals negative 7. We found the correct solution. The next problem, I'm going to get a little bit more complicated, and I'm going to solve um, 5 plus x. plus the opposite of 3x equals 3x plus 
plus the opposite of 2x plus negative 1. All right, so there's a lot more going on here. And the cool thing is we can use more legal moves. And there's, uh, I think the neatest part about this problem is that there's multiple ways you could solve this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, go back to one of my original legal moves that states I can remove the same thing from both sides. So I look here, I have a white pawn and a white pawn. So I'm going to go ahead and take those. I'm going to remove those from both sides. Because if you think about it, um, let's imagine this is an actual scale. And we have, uh, let's just throw out there, we have 20 pounds over here and 20 pounds over there. Well, if I remove 5 pounds and I remove 5 pounds from both sides, it's still going to be equal. Because then we'd have 15 and 15. So if I remove this value, whatever it is, positive or negative, and I remove this value, whatever it is, I'm not going to disrupt the balance of the scale. So I'm going to go ahead and take that and use my legal move. I'm going to remove a white pawn from both sides. Okay, now I look and see what I have here. I have another white pawn on both sides that I can remove. So I'm going to take that and remove my white pawn from both sides. Okay, now I'm left with the problem 5 plus x plus the opposite of x equals x plus x plus x, which is the same as 3x, plus negative 1. So now the cool thing about this is I can go back to um, uh, one of a couple options here, what I want to do. I look right here and I have a pair of 0. So what I'm technically doing on this side of the equation, which if you look at it individually is, is almost like an expression, I can simplify this by taking these and combining like terms. Okay, and making these a pair of zeros. So if I take that pair of zero and I remove it because it's on the same side of the scale, then I once again don't disrupt it. I mean, imagine if I take zero pounds away from the scale, it's not going to change anything, which technically this value right here is equal to zero. So I take that away. Now, my, my next objective is to get these black pawns by themselves. So I want to get rid of this green one. And the way I'm going to do that, I, first of all, I can't do this. And I can't remove those because they're not the same thing. We have a green one and we have a, a red five. So rather than removing things, I'm going to have to add things to my scale in order to make this um, even. So I'm going to get rid of the green one. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to add a red one to both sides. Now notice what happens. I have a pair of zero right here that I can now remove. So I'm going to take that away. And I'm left with something plus something plus something, 3x equals 6. So and a way to think about it backwards is what is 6 divided by 3? So each one of these black pawns here equals a positive 2. All right, so I can count and see 2, 4, 6, and we get 6. Okay, now once again, the neat thing about this is I can always check my answer. You have an answer key every single time. So I'm going to set the problem back up the way it was. It just takes a little bit of time to make sure I don't make a mistake here. <clears throat> so I had 5 plus x plus the opposite of 3x uh, equals 3x plus the opposite of 2x plus negative 1. Okay, there's my original problem. And I already stated, if I can remember correctly, that these equal 2, the black pawns. That means the white pawns equal negative 2. So let's watch how I count this here. I have 5, 7, 5, 3, 1. Okay, so right here I'm adding my negatives. i got to be kind of careful. This side, if I count it correctly, equals 1. Now over here I have 2, 4, 6, 4, 3, 3 plus negative 1. Hold on. Let me double check this here. I miscounted. 2, 4, 6, 4, 2, 2 plus negative 1 equals 1. So going back here, I have 1 equals 1. So my answer checks out, and I have my correct answer that my black pawn equals a positive 2, and my white pawn equals a negative 2. For my third problem, I have negative 15 plus x equals the opposite of 3x plus 5. Okay, um, going back to my legal moves. On this one, unfortunately, I cannot remove anything from both sides 
because here I have green and red, which are not the same, and I have um, black and white, which are not the same, so I can't remove anything, so I know I'm gonna have to add things to the table. So I'm gonna actually do this a little bit differently. I'm going to um, start off by getting rid of the red five. So I'm gonna add a green five to both sides, and once again, the reason behind that is I now have created a pair of zero. It's really important that we use both hands and we make sure we add the same thing to both sides. We don't wanna do this. We don't wanna add a green five and not do anything over here because then all of a sudden the, the scale's unbalanced. So I make sure I use both hands and add a green five to both sides. The moment I do that, I now have a pair of zero that I can legally remove. Okay, so now let's get these over just a little bit. Um, I want to get rid of this black pawn if I can because it's with my my constants over here um, So I'm going to go ahead and add a white pawn to both sides And the reason behind that is now I have a pair of zero that I can legally remove So I'm left with on this side negative 20 Equals the opposite of 4x So I'm going to see what each white pawn equals So I'm saying what plus what plus what plus what equals negative 20 and in this case, they would be negative 5. Negative 5, negative 10, negative 15, negative 20. So each white pawn equals negative 5. And on this problem, each black pawn equals positive 5. So even though we solve this one a little bit differently because we solve for the white pawn, we can still use the knowledge of this being an opposite to figure out that this equals positive 5. So the cool thing is, like always, we can check, set our problem back up and check it. So I'm going to just take away some things here and add some stuff back. I know I feel like a time waster doing this every single time, but the nice thing is you're guaranteed to have it right if you just take a little bit of extra time to check your answer. Okay, so this is, so this is positive 5. So positive 5 plus negative 15 equals negative 10. Over here, I have negative 5, negative 10, negative 15. Negative 15 plus positive 5 equals negative 10. So I've checked it out. Negative 10 equals negative 10. So my answer um, does check out to be correct. Last problem here, we have the opposite of 3x plus 5 plus x equals 2x plus negative 3. All right, so um, there's a variety of ways I could do this. If I wanted to, I could legally remove a black pawn from both sides. If that would help me, I can do that. Or if I wanted to, I could remove a pair of zero right here, um, a white and a black pawn together because they're on the same side of the scale. Um, I could go ahead and try to remove the constants, and I'll, I'll do that first just to make things a little bit easier on myself. So I'm going to add a... I need to switch this out here real quick. My apologies. Still keep that a five. to have the right number of cubes. I'm going to add a red three to both sides. Now when I do that, I now have a pair of zero. So I'm gonna take that pair of zero away. And notice I've isolated these two variables. I've got them by themselves. So um, I've made my job a little bit easier. Now my objective is to get rid of all this over here. And, and not all of it, I wanna keep the constants. I just wanna get rid of the, the opposite of x and x. So I'm gonna first off look here, I have a pair of zero that I'm gonna legally remove. So I'm gonna take away a pair of zero because they're on the same side of the scale. And now to get rid of these two white pawns, I can legally add a black pawn to both sides. And when I do that, I'm gonna remove a pair of zero again, and then I'll do that again. Add a black pawn to both sides, and I'll remove a pair of zero. So I'm left with something plus something plus something plus something, which comes out to be four X equals positive eight. So I'm trying to figure out eight divided by four equals what? So each one of these black pawns equals a positive two. So I have two, four, six, eight, all right? Like always, we're gonna spend a little bit of extra time um, plugging them back in and, and seeing if that works. So I said it equals positive two. And then I have an X. Okay, and looking at this here, I have, um, I said this is positive two, and this is negative two. So I have negative two 
negative four, negative six. Negative six plus positive five equals negative one. Negative one plus positive two equals positive one. All right, now over here, I have two, four, all right, two plus two is four, plus negative three equals a positive one. So once again, one equals one, it checks out to my answer and I have done the problem correctly. Thanks for watching.